Hello, thank you for joining me. I'm at Ricep Lido in Greater London. Ricep Lido is, of course, known for its miniature railway, which is just over there. I can hear a steam train. Mad Bess is just pulling in over there. I know you can't see it particularly well now, but we'll go over and have a better look. It's their gala. It's their May gala. So what we're going to do, we're going to ride lots of different trains. We're going to see lots of interesting movements and everything. It's actually the evening. It's the Saturday evening. So this is today. It's Saturday the 13th of May. 2023 and I've been invited to their evening part of the gala where they're going to do some interesting running so it's going to be a really exciting evening and they've got their first visiting steam loco which we shall see quite soon so let's go and ride the Rice of Lido railway so here we are I've got my visitors badge and we're going to have a look at what's going on down here so when I previously came there was just this one platform there's now a new island platform and there's three trains all waiting to depart. It feels like I'm out of London Termini. In fact, technically I am out of London Termini. We're in Greater London. And with the turntable up there, it's a terminal station. So there's three trains up here. We've got two steam locos, a visiting steam loco, a Mad Bess and a diesel loco. So I think what they're going to do, they're going to do a speech to declare this bay platform, which we're walking along open. And then the three trains are all going to depart within a few minutes of each other so there's quite a lot of people down there so I won't go any closer but we'll have a look at the steam locos during the course of the evening. It uh, gives me great pleasure to officially dedicate the platform at Willow Lawn Island platform to Stan and Sylvia Simmons. <laughs> So the platform's open and there goes the first train to depart the new platform. I'll probably get to depart that platform later. The reason I'm going to travel on the second train, this one's called By Mad Bess, is because this one is scheduled to overtake Christopher's train. So that's why I thought if I travel on the second one, it'd be a bit like when I was in Dresden a few weeks ago, we had a bit of parallel running. So we're going to do something a bit like that. So sooner or later we should depart off to Woody Bay, the other side. Woody Bay's actually that way, but we're going to go right round the Lido. So this is going to be quite an exciting trip.
Well, that was a fantastic run behind Mad Best. I have to say, it's probably one of the best minutes of railway runs I've ever had. I really enjoyed the parallel running with Christopher. I'm looking forward to having a trip behind Christopher later. There's another, I've got a bit of a story about Christopher. I'll tell you that when we travel behind Christopher. So here we are at Woody Bay. There's the bay itself. There's Christopher. Christopher's just down there on the shed. So we've got, this is the first time they've had two steam locos here, which I think is really nice. In fact, it's a bit of time until Mad Best departs. So we will go and have a look at Christopher now. The story about Christopher that I want to tell you, um, it goes back to when I was a child. There's Christopher in the WD livery. Now Christopher hasn't always been called Christopher. Christopher was built by the Exmoor Steam Railway and called Lorna Doon. Now I went to the Exmoor Steam Railway back in, was it 95 or 96? Have a look at link on screen now. You can see my footage from my visit back then. And I travelled behind Christopher, but Christopher looked very different. Like I said, it's called Lorna Doon. Since then, it's been built as a bigger loco. It's the same loco, because it's the frame. So a locomotive takes its identity from the frame. So it's the same locomotive. Now down at Little Hampton Railway, we really should go down there and have a ride at Little Hampton. I have done that railway, but not made a video. So, I've had this loco when she was called Lorna Doon. She's been rebuilt. She's now called Christopher, works at Little Hampton, has come on holiday to the beach in London for the weekend. But the Exmoor Railway has since built another locomotive called Lorna Doon, just to confuse everyone. So we'll have a trip behind Christopher later. I'm going to go back to the station and we're going to get on the train hauled by Mad Bess for a trip up to Haste Hill. Mad Bess is going to work the 1807 from Woody Bay going only as far as Haste Hill. So it's a bit like old times when I was a child. Because when I was a child, you get on the train here, it only goes to Haste Hill. So that's what we're going to do now. So we've now arrived at Eleanor's Junction on the train that's going up to Haste Hill. We've got to wait for Robert to come along. Robert is the diesel loco, the one I've, one of the ones I've not yet had for haulage, and Robert's due to be hauling a ballast train. It's double track all the way down to Willow Lawn, but this section of line is single track, as you can see, just beyond Mad Bess. Single track. So we've got to wait for Robert to come along, but the other thing that for me is exciting is to get out here. I've never been out at this station before. I've got out at Haste Hill. I did in my other video. I have a look at link on screen now. I bought a ticket to Haste Hill, but I've never actually got out here. So I'm picking off a winning station here. Just up there, it's hard to see from here, but there used to be a turntable. This was once the end of the line. The line's been extended a few times. That was all explained in my original video. I wonder if this fence here, look. That looks like a piece of old rail there. I wonder if that was once some old Rice at Lido Railway rails. Anyway, I can see it better on that one there. Anyway, let's wait for Robert to come along and pass my best here at Eleanor's Loose. I'm not going to see it as a, a, uh, my father's car. I'm more thinking of it as um, this way, if I try, it's not an other So here we are, we're at Haste Hill, the station that used to be the terminus. So I remember as a child, when I came here, we used to catch the train, we'd come here to Haste Hill. It was usually one of the diesels, certainly before 1998. If you have a look, Mad Bess, she was built here by the Rice It Lider Railway. She is Rice It Works uh, number one, 1998. So she's now going to run around her train, going to go up to the turntable, which doesn't get so much use now, now this is no longer the termini of the railway. But it's, it's just like for old time's sake to come here on the train and it'd be the end of the line. And then I'm going to see which other train I can catch back to Woodlawn at the other end of the line where we started. And then just spend the rest of the evening having fun and riding trains basically.
Okay.
Well, that was a bit of a surprise. The train came into the carriage shed, so I've just had. I'm not a super track bash that has to do every little bit of track, but that's really rare track, which I'm really pleased about. And it was a winning loco, Bayhurst. I may have had it for haulage when I was younger, but it's not recorded anywhere that I travel behind Bayhurst. So I've had a winning loco and some super rare track. What I need to try and do now, Robert is down there. If I could get on the train hauled by Robert, that's like the winning loco of the evening for me. So I'm on the beach in Great London at Rice at Blyder. You just got to do it when you're here. You've got to walk on the beach. Just say you're on a beach in Great London. Over there's Woody Bay Station and all the workshops. The railway goes right round the lake and uh, Woodlawn Station's over there. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to walk over there. As soon as I'm halfway there, I might as well walk on to Woodlawn and then get the train back and just keep riding really until it gets dark. And we're back at Willow Lawn. I've made it back to Willow Lawn and we're going to go for a ride behind Robert, my winning loco of the evening. There's going to be a double header going out first, so we're going to watch that. And as I said, we're going to get Robert. Robert looks so dwarfed by the big carriage, but you know, it's all part of the fun of miniature railways. You have big and small and, you know, various different combinations. And as I said, this is, I said at the beginning of the video, this is the London Termini. And that's going to be, I think, the 2035 with the two locos and only two carriages. I'm going to catch 2050 to Woody Bay, called by Robert.
I've had Robert for haulage, we're back at Woody Bay. It's starting to get dark now, but that's all part of the fun. It's something about riding a miniature train in the dark through the woods in Greater London to the beach over there. It's just all really exciting. It's, it's really a fantastic, fun evening. We're having a lot of fun with miniature diesel locos. I think what they're going to do, they're going to put a few locos together and we might be going to run a quadruple header maybe. We'll have to wait and see, but it's going to be good fun whatever we're doing next. Well here we are, we're back at Willow Lawn. I've just travelled on this triple header and I've had Lady Lakes now, so I've now cleared all of the Ricep Lido locos for haulage. And Robert, like I say, was, I was really pleased to get Robert. I did also have a ride behind Christopher's. I've, I've, I've had a ride behind, I think, every locomotive here this evening. It's about getting on for 10 o'clock, probably the latest I've ever made a miniature railway video, but it's really been a really good, fun, fantastic evening. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for watching. Please do feel free to like, subscribe and comment. And from the Ricep Lido at about 10 o'clock at night, goodbye.